Alright, welcome back everyone. This is Dragon in White here and we're back with another episode of Assassin's Creed. Let's jump right in and try to recap where I last left off. So, um, it's been about 3 days since I last played. Uh, the last time I actually recorded about 6 episodes in... Um, was it 6? Uh, no, 4 episodes in one sitting. And... Uh, was it three days? Maybe two days. I'm actually a bit losing a bit uh, a bit losing track due to the whole end of year Christmas season. Uh, I had lots of stuff to do, especially down with the church. Um, and as a result, I didn't really have much time. Uh, because the new year is starting, there were a couple of uh, well, a bit of meetings, and uh, because I'm I'm rather heavily involved with all the. Uh, church um, stuff basically teaching Sunday school uh, and a couple of other events need planning and stuff like that yeah so in any case um, that aside uh, I also had to make sure I get some work ready and prepared for when I um, leave for Malaysia on the 6th so as mentioned before I am Going off to Malaysia for about. No, stay back. Stop. Gonna get this guy. Vile murderer, stay away. Have you been drinking? Uh, there we go. Yep, I have. Uh, I'll be going to Malaysia for about two weeks. Spare me, please. Don't kill me. Take it all. Let me live. And. During these two weeks, I won't be able to record, although I, I will be able to continue my translation work. But there will be a couple of days which I will have to be lagging behind as a result of, uh, you know, going out and spending time with family and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so as a result, I needed to make sure I get some of the work uh, done in advance. Make sure I got a stockpile and um, have things done. And on that end, uh, also for uh, for the recording of this game, and I took a look at the uh, I took a look at the number of episodes I already have recorded, and so far they will only last me until the first uh, of January, and today is the thirtieth of December, so this is gonna be a bit uh, tricky. Because uh, effectively, since I have video for first of January, I'm I'm only returning from Malaysia on the twentieth. Um, I estimate I will need videos. Um, hmm. Oh, I need to eliminate without weapons. So um, where was I? Oh yes, so. Okay, I kind of uh, a bit of a lost track due to the uh, the fight. Okay, um, where was I? Yeah, so by my calculations, I actually require about. I need to make sure I have a uh, footage for up to the twenty second of January in order for me to continue my daily video postage at this point of time i cannot guarantee whether i could even complete um, doing that many videos before i fly i'm going to do my best so but then it might result in a couple of uh, missing chapters uh, not chapters um videos yeah as you can see i have uh, <laughs> done quite a lot of translations and already lost track between episodes and uh, chapters uh, So counting, if assuming if I need to count for uh, account for chapters all the way up to the twenty second, uh, I will need another twenty one 
episodes, not chapters, episodes. Uh, I'll need another 21 episodes until uh, before the, uh, I believe, 6. Yeah, before the 6. So from here to the 6, uh, well, I'm flying on 6 itself, so there's a good chance where I cannot even do any recording on the 6. Uh, due to the lack of time, you need to fly, yes so. Um, and even if I could record, I will still need to do the processing of the video, uh, rendering and everything, and that will take at least an hour per video. So, um, I need to have 21 ex more episodes done by the time it is the 6th, basically on the 5th. So if I were to count the 5th, so... Today is the 30th, so that's two days to the end of the year. 30th, 31st, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 January. Um, so this means I have a total of 7 days to get 21 episodes out. Which means in order to reach that target, I need to be editing, not editing, recording and, ed and rendering 3 videos per day. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of time to be able to do a recording every day. So that is a bit of a problem there. Uh, so from the looks of it, I think I can only do with record. I can have to probably bulk record some of these episodes. Uh, maybe play about three or four hours in one go every day. Uh, it's a bit much, I know, but uh, oh, I don't think I got to climb up. I don't want to climb up. There we go. So as a result, I think I'll probably be doing maybe six episodes each recording. Uh, and that might result in me getting more tired, more silent, but I hope you guys will just enjoy the process. Oh and meanwhile I know it looks like I'm wasting a lot of time right now. But um, I'm trying to get used to the game because, you know, after a while, um, there's a chance whereby I lose touch with the game. And thanks to losing touch, I may not be able to fight effectively. So usually, I, if after a long session, I would like to um, run a mission or two that are optional that will help me get back on my feet. And this mission just happened to be somewhat extra long. <laughs> and the target seems to be just scattered everywhere. And of course, uh, with my description of my current problems, uh, that does delay me slightly. Uh, and making me less effective. Uh, I mean, after doing YouTube for this period of time, I now start to understand why uh, certain. I mean, when I watch some. Oh man, let me go all the way at the top again. Ugh. Ugh. Oof. So, some in the past when I watched YouTube, uh, especially certain YouTubers which I enjoy watching. Uh, say for instance like Captain Sparkles and uh, there are a couple of uh, interesting ones which I watch every now and then uh, Wonderbot, Splattercat and when you look at the way they play it feels like they are very careless and not really paying attention to what they're doing and I always wondered why and like these, are these I mean they are entertaining and that's why I'm watching them but they seem to be really horrible gamers and Actually, now that I do it for myself, I, f I realize that having to keep up a, a, a dialogue in the, while speaking, while, while gaming, uh, speaking and playing at the same time, basically, um, it's quite challenging, actually. It's quite challenging, and if, when you're not paying attention, it's very easy to um, screw up the game. So it's a matter of whether, what are you going to focus on? Are you going to focus on speaking? Or are you going to focus on playing the game? For me, I think I... When I... Sometimes, you know, due to my lack of experience, uh, I often end up um, 
focusing more on the on the game itself and that end results in me going silent. Uh, is it a good thing? I'm not sure. Uh, and also due to inexperience, I will also attribute it to this, uh, that uh, sometimes I'm just, I just don't have the a, a, a wide array of topics to chat about. So that might have also contributed to me going silent as well, uh, not having a topic to talk about. So perhaps maybe if any of you have any suggestions on things to talk about, feel free to suggest them to me in the comments. So far, I mean, let's face it, I don't really have much viewers. If you are watching this video now, you are one of the very few that actually bother watching. And even all the way to this point, currently it's 10 minutes into the video. And you're still here. Most people just get out after a couple of minutes. In any case, uh, I thought I killed four. So yeah, um, as so last like thing, if you have managed to reach this point of time and hear me say this, do leave down your comments on what you would like to see, and also maybe suggest things that I can talk about while I am here. Um, I will kill all trespassers, Pastor. Wait, it's not. Oh, maybe he Perhaps fell off. Perhaps I'm the prices I have for you, Stimati Clienti. You will say I am quite... Well done, there he is, oh. Lajou! <laughs> there we go. And this is way more difficult than I expected. So, in any case, uh, now that we are done with this, uh, I do expect that we'll probably be doing more of these assassination contracts over time, uh, due to the fact that um, these are probably going to be some form of achievement that will help me out. But now that I have done enough talking, let's work on the memory. And I need to set the display. This is a bit weird. Core memory markers. Mm, I'll do that another time. What about think this okay? Strategic markers. Yeah, I don't really want to see it. Yeah, don't really need teeth, I don't really need cortisans, and I don't really need mercenaries. I don't really want them unless I really have to. Uh, it's a big waste of money in my opinion. Um, there we go. Let's just check on economic markers. That'll be it all. I do need those. Not I do need those. Actually, you know what? I don't want Herods. Herods are a waste of time. Uh, money, not time. I do want all secondary events because they are likely to help me out. Core memory markers, I definitely need to have them all. There we go. Now my map looks much cleaner. Uh, why am I turning off hiding spot? Well, because most of the time, I actually don't bother hiding. really went down quite a lot. Have I taken this? Yes. Maybe a doctor might be a, a good a good call. Help! Oh, no. 
Okay. I really need banks in this game. I remember the one of the versions actually have banks and that allowed me to withdraw this income from anywhere. Well not anywhere but anywhere that with a bank. Let me check. Yeah I gotta make sure it's stocked up. That should feel better And now with this it's time to continue the main quest too. There is one of the strange glyph on this landmark. In a city famous for its towers, the Savucci family in a display of 13th century might erected not one but two. And not only did they erect two, but they erect them to be taller than the ruler of San Gimin San Giming Nyano, the Podesta's tower. Despite a law made in 1255 that prohibited such an act of blatant brick and mortar style aggression. Outrage, the Podesta forced the tower to be cut down until they were smaller than his. Okay, interesting. Okay, I need to check uh, landmarks. Uh, okay, let's still uh, avoid that. Avoid taking this thing until I actually... Save me a bit of time, perhaps. I got a feeling it's up here. I mean, it's only logical, right? Can't get up on that. Maybe go this way. There we go. And I was right, it is here. Have I taken this before? Apparently not. Tsar Nicholas II. Russia, Tsar. Identify the martyr. What did I find? I just randomly click John of Arc. Oh, the sound? I'm uh, vaguely confused. Uh. Hey. Without the staff, the Tsar is powerless. He could no longer control his subjects. Revolution! Revolution! Okay, confused, but all right. All right, I shall probably just play it when I finally get most of them, at least enough to form a coherent piece. At this moment, it's just not coherent enough for me to even recognize anything. <laughs> Alright, so now after all that wastage of time at 19 minutes into the thing and the recording, it's time to start. If I can stay my blade long enough to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. Okay, um, so 
Now looks like we gotta follow this fellow and not quite sure what's the best way to do it. Hopefully he turns left. Nope, he's going this way. Listen way! I also have all the stock from my brother's forge at Ben. Okay, I definitely keep eye on him, right? So I can actually run much further ahead and just catch a glimpse of him. Okay, that is enough. What's going on here? Are they late? I haven't seen him this much. Ah, not my problem. Hmm. Yep, that was very close. I almost uh screwed it up. I really hate the fall damage. Falling off really caused a lot of problems. Okay, I suppose uh, going on the rooftop is probably one of the easier ways to not get into trouble. Alright, I'll just keep eye on him from up here. Should be much easier. Hmm, wonder what's with all the uh, frame skips here and there. Shouldn't be running anything heavy on my PC. Hmm. No, no killers here. Okay, it's going that way, so that means I run this way. I hope this mission wouldn't take too long. What are you and the others planning, Jacopo? Yes, I got greedy in the middle, going for the treasure, and I'm actually confident enough of being able to get him back in sight. Uh -oh. Okay, I'm cutting it very close. Let's see, there we go. Hmm. The buildings are getting shorter. Where is he going? He's going out of the city. Horses, perhaps? Now let's watch him from the city walls. Should be pretty decent. Your place. letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Hmm. Is he going to one of the other cities? Honestly, I don't like the way this is going. If they're going to be out in the open, it's going to be rather tough to get them. Hmm. Well, it looks like this is going to be a reasonably long um, mission. So it's a good chance that by this episode ends on completion of this mission. Get off and cross the thing. Turning left, hopefully. Yep, 
Yep, they are turning left. So my guess is this would be a good place to hide. Uh, there's another one of those stuff inside there. there. Not so well, anyway. I will have to find it later. Okay, let's, you know what? Let's check out the database now. Inspired by Greek theatres, which had a similar structure, the ruins of ancient Roman theatres can be found throughout the territories once ruled by the empire. Typical Roman theatres were constructed of concrete, a material no longer used in the Renaissance Italy because the recipe had been lost. Their semicircular designs created superior acoustics, allowing spectators to hear the plays, speeches, or choral events performed on the stage. Notice the lack of marbles? Renaissance Italians practice a rudimentary form of recycling when dealing with Roman structures. Any marble that could be found was ripped off the buildings to be reused for free. Huh. So uh, that must mean uh, certain artists have um, done stupid stuff like that. Possibly famous ones too. Uh, that was an instant regret. He's Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Okay, <laughs> now that I know where he's going, I'm just gonna go ahead of time. Okay, go into this ahead of time. There we go. I thought it will pull him in. That was a mistake. Your letter mentioned Venezia. Are there Templars there as well? Okay, hmm. Jamin. You have to show us some of your tricks, Sior. What is he doing? I wonder if I can kill that dude with the poison darts. Nah, let's not risk it this time. Let's play the safe approach. So wait, there was there's no dude patrolling this this time. So there was a bug of some sort. How many men are responsible for my father's death? Hmm, I need to get to there, okay. There we go. I'm sorry, Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. 
else the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you hmm. sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. He dies? He does. Uh, uh, no. Please. No. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix this. <laughs> Spare me. No. What a mess. Not really sure if that action would have killed him. So sorry to have claimed your prize. Assassin! Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this one! <laughs> There he is! Let's go! Let's see, I think it would be more prudent to finish off these people. Like I can't block certain weapons, especially heavy weapons. Everyone settled for now and done. Alright, this episode has uh, overran a bit, but Bye, I think it's fair that I complete this <laughs> main quest at least. <laughs> Sequence 5 I get pulled out How do I get go to the future? Hmm. Nope Skip pass in time Where am I now? Florence Looks like a tightly locked up Florence at that Okay, so with this I am going to um, Finish off this episode, but before that just my usual um, 
Shameless Plugs. So, as you all know, I am the translator of Immortal and Martial Dual Cultivation. So, long story short, free novel, read at gravitytales.com or links in the description below. And if you'd like to support me, Patreon is there as well. And with Patreon, you get early access chapters for my novel. Uh, this novel is legal. I am legally translating it uh, with licensing and everything. So, this is nothing illegal. Alright, and finally, I have a merch store up. If you'd like to support me, also take a look through at the items. Consider purchasing some of them. And there we go. That's it with the shameless plugs. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.